The Queen's Gambit. Loved the show, so thought why not recreate that iconic poster. So me and my friend Shruti caught up, we shot together, and well, I'll show you in the video how I edited this picture. So, to the shoot. So we are trying to recreate this uh, Queen's Gambit picture over here. As you can see, we have a chessboard over here, and Shruti will sit, be sitting in front of the chessboard, and uh, we're just trying to have fun, create something which has been created. Let's see if we can come close to that. So first and foremost, the setup. Uh, I had liked this wooden table that Shruti had in her house. So uh, since it was not very high, she had to sit on the floor. And well, we put the nice chess board and those small miniature bottles in front of it. And I had only this one light, which is the Godox LC500 light. And as the main source of light, there was some sunlight coming from the back, which I actually drew the curtains and I didn't want that other light to come on the face. And I also had this small aperture MC light, which is kept on the table on the left side of Shruti, which you can't really see. It's, I mean, the light stand is covering that light. So basically, there was one small light and this big light over there. Actually, I'll put that small light later on in this shot. You can see later on. So basically, yeah, we were seeing these references uh, from the phone of the original poster and trying to replicate it as close as possible, as you can see over here. We were trying to replicate the exact expression, the whole posture, the pose. And at times, uh, since the table wasn't very high, so I was asking Shruti to sit up straight and uh, kind of just give the correct posture and the correct pose. I was using my 28 to 75 Tamron lens which was giving me enough flexibility to zoom or make it a little wider. So here is the final little video bit that I shot. Uh, and uh, as you can see, it's looking quite nice. Now it's time for the final image to be edited. So here you can see all the shots that I finally, finally picked out. And I picked up this shot, which was the closest to the expressions and the mood. And I started using Lightroom to select the correct tone, the tone that will be closest to the image, the final image. Of course, you can't replicate it. But then finally, I just decided on this tone and then open the image in Photoshop. If you think this is going too fast, you can always slow down the speed of this video to catch up. And when the first thing I do to clear the skin is I use this frequency separation. And this is the great action that I have got from these people at Flurn. I'll put the link of this frequency separation action down in the description below. You can just download it and use this little action and it'll make your life easy. You can just use this shortcut and uh, you can just follow those steps that are given in that frequency separation plugin. And you can very easily clean up skin. And as you can see, I'm trying to uh, make it as smooth as possible and uh, removing all the highlights. And you can see the difference between the before and the after. And the next step is I wanted to do some uh, dodge and burn. So for that, uh, this is the process that I used I make a new layer and then go to edit and then press fill. Basically, I use a gray layer and then I uh, put the blending mode on soft light and then I use the paint brush tool, then use the color white and then I decrease the opacity and the flow of the brush to almost say 10 to 15, both of them. And then I start painting or highlighting things that I want to highlight. Over here, I want to highlight the eyes basically and the shine of the eyes basically make them a little more lighter so that they pop out and uh, not too much but you have to kind of maintain a little balance and not go overboard also the next step is i open the camera raw in the filters and then i wanted to change the color of the backdrop a little more so i highlighted the backdrop and try to brighten it a little, try to give it a certain tone using the U and the saturation. And uh, as you can see over here, I was trying to balance the face, the tone of the face and the background image I was trying to brighten and just basically playing around. The more you play around, the more you experiment, the more you'll know what you like and what you don't like. So you can see the difference over here. Then again, I wanted to again do some um, highlights and some shadows. I basically wanted to uh, highlight her hair a little more, make it a little more uh, 
the way it's in the poster so basically since she didn't have very prominent highlights i wanted to lighten the hair bits a little more so that they really really stand out the next bit is i wanted to hide this little blue green streak which was coming on the television that was behind her head so basically wanted to blend that in because that was really really standing out so i covered that with the clone stamp and well yeah that's hidden there and now the last bit was to select a font that was closest to the text that was written the queen's gambit and well i placed it on the poster and now yeah it's more or less done as you can see let's put it side by side and see how does it look aha voila nice ain't it so that is the final image of the queen's gambit poster i hope you liked it i hope you liked my process of shooting and editing it if you have any questions please do give me a comment or ask me something whatever you want to and uh, if you really like the way i did all this you should like this right like it you can follow my photography work here on instagram and until next time keep shooting <laughs>